Hello and welcome to the Villa Park Podcast. It's me, Rich, and I'm back with another Transfer Talk Roundup show. I know we are live tonight for our match preview for FA Cup fourth round against Chelsea, but I thought I'd jump on, do a quick um, transfer roundup. There's been a few rumours. There's rumours of a I guess, a, a potential swap deal, if we want to call it that. Um, a Portuguese uh, winger who um, is out in Saudi linked. Um, a Dutch striker uh, linked as well. So um, all sorts going on at the club, as well as um, this Morgan Rogers, I guess, transfer saga um, potentially coming to a close. Um, so we'll get into all of that. Get your comments in. Let me know your thoughts on um, who who are we going to actually sign, if anyone? Are we going to get these deals done? Are we going to do um, a little bit more business in this window? Um, seems like there's a few more rumours coming around, been lots of manoeuvring, whether it's loans, whether it's um, loans with obligations, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, let me know in the comments, but hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. We are 20 subs away from 3,300. We want to hit 4K. We're on the road to 4K, so please do help us get there by liking, subscribing, spreading the word of the channel and getting your comments in. So yeah, first of all, I guess I don't really want to focus too much on Morgan Rogers. We'll see that one come. I think uh, he's apparently said that he's um, wanting to join Aston Villa. So that's a good sign. Um, and I think that'll probably get done over the weekend if um, if for all ducks uh, are lined up in a row. But there's also this um, ongoing um, situation with, uh, with John Duran. And um, Obviously, now they're looking like there's concrete interest from Chelsea. They are discussing um, whether they go for, um, whether they put in a bid for him, um, whether that is a transfer fee, whether that's a, a, a full-on transfer fee, whether it's a loan for the rest of the season with an option or obligation to buy. Um, but, you know, Matt Law uh, in The Telegraph has actually reported on this. Um, and, and Fabrizio Romano has said, uh, has actually confirmed this. So there does seem to be legs in, in this deal. Now, um, yeah, whether he goes and he's going to get game time is another matter because he's he's obviously frustrated at the game, the lack of game time he's getting at Aston Villa. That's the perception of it. Um, uh, whether there's anything else behind it, not too sure. Um, but that seems to be the perception. But going to Chelsea, you know, is he going to get that game time that he craves? Um, maybe, who knows? But we've seen with young players who've gone to Chelsea that they haven't really had that had that um, game time uh, afforded to them. So, yeah, it's a, it's a weird one with with John Duran. Um, London is obviously uh, an interest as well. And, and you know, Chelsea, huge club as well. So in terms of stature, in terms of, I guess, wages as well, it's um, it's an opportunity that he, he maybe needs to take seriously. But, yeah, it, it does seem a little bit strange that you would trade in Aston Villa and the potential lack of opportunities for another club that isn't renowned for giving too many opportunities to you know, um, I guess, young strikers that are kind of raw and uh, and need work. So we'll see. But also potentially being considered um, as, a, as a kind of uh, trade-off in that deal is Armando Broja. And we did, did speak about him a couple of days ago. Um, and, uh, you know, he obviously has a more Premier League experience than, uh, than John Duran, more English experience as well. So... Could that be a deal that could be done? Could it be an initial kind of loan swap deal in terms of, you know, we get we get Broha on loan, they get Duran on loan, and then both clubs kind of negotiate um, transfer fees at the end of the season? Um, again, Broha, though, would then be coming in as backup to, um, to Ollie Watkins. Would he be happy about that? He's obviously at a stage of his career where he wants to really challenge and wants to be a first-choice striker. He's coming back from an injury, though, so... You know, and he's had a couple of really serious injuries and needs to get that match sharpness back. Me personally, I think that would be a good thing to do. He's valued, though, at £35 million. I think that's a that's pretty steep. Um, hasn't had an amazing time this season. Hasn't looked as sharp as maybe previously. But, you know, you can tell there's a player in there. So that's going to be one to watch. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments. You know, do you, do you trade out a Duran for a Broha? Is it realistic to suggest that? Is Broha worth 35 million or do you stick with Duran and, and really work with him? And is it is it, I guess, just paper talk and, and social media talk that, that isn't really going to go anywhere? So, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, 
Also linked is uh, has been Joshua Zerxy. Now he's uh, has also been linked with a number of other clubs. Um, West Ham, I think Arsenal, uh, currently playing uh, for Bologna in Serie A. So it seems to be, you know, a few Serie A players being uh, linked with Premier League clubs. Um, he's six foot four, so good profile in terms of, you know, a different type of player than than, than what we than what we possess. Um, uh, spent time in his youth career at Bayern Munich and, and Feyenoord. Um, played for Bayern Munich second team, score appearing 32 times, scoring six goals, then moved into the first team, scoring four goals in 12 games, went on loan to Parma, um, where he only appeared four times, but really made his name on loan at Anderlecht, scoring 16 goals in 38 games. And uh, since 2022, um, also at Bologna, uh, scored nine goals in 34 games. Um, has represented Holland from under-15s right up to under-21 level and currently has seven um, seven goals in 19 appearances. So, uh, obviously, young striker um, looking to, to make his way in the game. If we have a look at his, uh, his SOFA score, um, his SOFA score ratings, um, he is... Um, he ha he is he, you know all over the pitch you can see that you know right left through through the middle in the box he's played 19 games so far a start in 18 scored seven goals in the league um his uh, shots per game is 2.3 only missed one big chance so pretty decent in terms of his conversion um six goals from inside the box one from outside the box um four goals with his left, three goals with his right. So clearly both footed, two assists, eight big chances created as well. So, you know, looks like a, a good all round forward and, you know, someone who I guess would complement maybe an Ollie Watkins or would come on and be maybe a similar type of player in, in terms of that hard work in scores, goals, creates chances for other players. Um, decent passing accuracy at 70% in his own half. Um, long ball, 76% doesn't, doesn't do many of those per game. Um, ball recovery is at 2.9. So, Again, decent in that aspect at closing people down or winning the ball back. Um, so yeah, a good good player. Um, seems seems like a solid player. Um, has lost possession quite a few times, but maybe maybe there's some touch elements there. Maybe there's some you know bits to work on in terms of comparing him to uh, Ollie Watkins. Um, we'll have a little look. Uh, he. Um, <clears throat> he, he's very similar in terms of the the, the uh, abilities that Sova score shows. Um, obviously, tactically, Watkins is a little bit sharper, but everything else, you know, fairly similar. So, I, again, a player who is going to be, I guess, highly rated across the board, and he's going to be uh, touted for for many clubs. But could could Villa um, steal a march on him? I think again, thirty five million euros, thirty five million pounds um, is around the um, around the uh, price that. That they're looking to to uh, I guess tout him around at, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Anyone who's uh, an expert in Dutch football, Italian football, let me know your thoughts. Is he is he a viable option? And uh, when we talk about kind of raising the sta standards of Aston Villa, are you talking about someone to really come in and push Ali Watkins and be potentially be a number one striker ahead of him? You know that would be that would be the key, and that would I guess Zerxy would be would be um, that player. Now, another player that's slightly more left field is um is Portuguese uh, Jota, uh, who's got playing out in the Saudi league. Obviously, um, was at uh, Celtic before going out there. Um, he's uh, he's been around a fair, fair few different clubs. Was at Benfica as a youngster, um, coming through the B team into their first team. Spent time on loan at Valladolid, and then made his name on loan at Celtic um, in 21-22 season, scoring 10 goals in 29 games. Um, then was signed permanently for Celtic. Um, played 33 times in that season, uh, the 22-23 season, scoring 11 times, and has then transferred to Al Hiti Al Itihad. Um, and in the pro actual pro league, has only played five games, scoring one goal. Has represented Portugal from all levels up to under twenty one uh, level. Um, but yeah, when I've, I saw him for Celtic, looked looked very good. He was obviously linked to many Premier League clubs as well at the time, but chose the the money um, in the Saudi league. But I guess hasn't really. Um, you know, as some of the players haven't really kind of enjoyed it in terms of uh, in terms of their their um, their experience. So yeah, only really played five times, scored one goal. He's played in the um, he's played in the Champions League, uh, the uh, 
so I guess the, the 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 Asian Champions League. So has played four times in that, scoring one goal, um, and then he's played in the uh, the Arab Club Champions uh, Cup. He's played four times in that, hasn't scored. So yeah, maybe not had the best of experiences. If we look at his time in Scotland, though, the last season he, he had there, you know, can play off the right, can play off the left. Um, had 33 appearances, starting 26, scored 11 goals. Um, nine from inside the box, two from outside the box, both feet and the, and head as well. We're talking Scottish Premier League as well, so obviously it's not the highest of standards, but had 11 assists as well. So you can see this quality there. Is he better than what we've got? Would he complement what we've got? I'm not so sure. Um, obviously, you know, he's still a young player, only 24, can operate on both right and left flanks. You know, we know Unai Emery can work with players. So, you know, he's obviously got ability, um, but I'm not so sure he he would he would come in and I guess he'd be an option. But would he would he really raise the standard of our side? I'm not too sure about that um, with the likes of Bailey uh, and um, and DRB uh, in there as well. But in terms of another option, you know, Traore going out, uh, maybe going to the Saudi League. Jota coming in from the Saudi League, he'd certainly be a better option, better option than him. So, you know, we'll see. I don't know if it'll be a deal done in January, though, personally. I think Rogers looks like it's going to be done. And then it'd be interesting to see if Duran goes out, who we can potentially bring in. Is it Armando Broja? Is it a slightly more left field option like a Xerxes, something like that, that we could uh, maybe get an on loan and do a deal in the in the summer. Um, that's it from me. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like I said before, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help us on the road to 4,000 subscribers. Um, keep spreading the word of the channel. We will be back tonight um, with our match preview. Football is back. Um, FA Cup fourth round action tomorrow against Chelsea. Previewing that tonight with the lads. So make sure you uh, don't miss out on that. Um, thank you all for watching and as always, remember, we all follow the villa.